The Red Sox have won the World Series again. What autographs do you get? And also, autograph signing coming up in a couple weeks to complete the photo of all photos. Those are today's topic on episode 12 of the Powers Sports Memorabilia Show. Alright, thank you again for joining me. I am your host, Matt Powers of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. Please visit my website, powersportsmemorabilia.com for all your autograph collecting needs. And also hit that subscribe button wherever you are listening, watching. I always appreciate you guys and I always enjoy doing these videos and these podcasts for you as well. So, let's get right to it on topic number one here. Red Sox have won the World Series again for the what, fourth time now since 2004. We got 04, 07, 13, and then now uh, 18. So, um, you know, man, they're like a freaking almost dynasty now, you know. Uh, still remember that 04 World Series. That was one of the, the greatest. Uh, the World Series wasn't all that cool. That was that was a good World Series, don't get me wrong. But when they came back to beat the Yankees, I mean, that was, that was the series right there. That was one of the greatest series I've ever seen. I mean, they were down and out. And uh, that 04 team, nothing will trump that 04 team. I, I'm sorry, nothing will trump that. So, all right, so let's say you're a Red Sox fan, you're a collector. What autographs do you get? Uh, what are some options out there? And is this stuff overpriced? Hmm. A couple good questions there. So, let's just start off with some options here on whose autograph do you get from the 2018 World Series? Well, you got Mookie Betts, of course. He's probably, uh, honestly, probably their best player. You got to consider him. Uh, ben Etienne, you got to get him potentially. Devers, you got uh, David Price, Jackie Bradley Jr., uh, and of course, the World Series MVP, the one that everybody knew was going to be the World Series MVP, Mr. Steve Pierce. Uh, I, I never heard of the guy until uh, <laughs> this World Series. I don't even know what position he played. I had to ask my buddy who is a baseball guy, and he didn't even know. So, uh, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> but um, apparently the guy had some really big hits in this World Series. So, I mean, it's it definitely a... Definitely well worth being the MVP. So everybody's got to get the MVP. We know that. But let's talk about some autographed baseballs here and pricing and all that kind of good stuff. Mookie Betts, uh, $3.99. Oof, man. That's a tough one to swallow. Uh, ben Etienne, $1.99. Okay, a little better. Deaver, $79. Okay. Price, $1.99. Bradley Jr., $1.79. And Mr. MVP, one ninety nine with the MVP inscription, which is honestly the only way to go. So uh, you've got a couple options for autographs here. Of course, you can do balls, bats, jerseys, uh, photos, and of course, you got the team signed items. Uh, you know, people often ask, you know, what what should I get? You know, what should I collect from the the two thousand eighteen Red Sox? And, I always tell people when it comes to baseball items and World Series related items to always in most cases, go with the autographed baseballs, okay? The logo this year kind of sucks. I mean, it, it just looks funky. I, I'm, I, I don't like it, but it is what it is. But baseballs are the way to go. They just take up so much less space. They're, they're, the, they're usually one of the least expensive items that you can get. It's got the World Series logo on it, so you know what it's from. And I, people like collecting all the autographed baseballs from every player if they don't do a team side item. So that's my personal preference to everybody. They're easy to display. Easy on your wallet in most cases. Uh, so, you know, all of those guys I just listed, you know, you got Betts, Benetiendi, Devers, and all those guys. Who do you get, you know? Uh, well, well, listen, you probably got to get Betts simply because he's probably their best player, okay? But that's $3.99. Honestly, in my opinion, oh, that's probably a little overpriced, to be honest with you. Um, I, I kind of see him as kind of a $250, $300 kind of guy. $250 is kind of really what I'd like to be on him as far as retail pricing. Uh, but you know, hmm, I definitely, you gotta think you gotta get Pierce though. I mean, 100%, 100% he's gotta be in your collection. He's the MVP, but my God, it's 199 with the inscription. Um, uh, gosh, I don't know. Let's see. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. There's actually a really cool 16 by 20 out there of the Red Sox outfield that, uh, I'll post here in the uh, YouTube video that you guys can check out. It's actually really cool. It's a very cool image. It's not 
terribly priced. I think it's 600 bucks for all three autographs. So, I mean, I say terribly priced, but it's probably one of the more least expensive items with multiple signatures on there. Uh, so let's get to the topic here. One of the main topics is should you get the MVP right now? We all seen this happen with David uh, Freeze. You know, he won the uh, MVP for the 2011 St. Louis Cardinals. And I was just actually offered 8 by 10s this week at 25 bucks for David, or David Freeze. Of course, I turned that down because David Freeze does not sell. But, you know, is Pierce, is he going to be is he going to be a guy like that? He's going to be a thirty dollar autograph in a couple years. I mean, most likely. I mean, I know he's got an exclusive deal now, but uh, I mean, I, that's only going to last probably a couple years. I don't know if they re up him on that. I mean, it's not like this is like the first World Series the Red Sox have won. I mean, it's not all that special. I mean, they've won three before this pretty recently. So I don't know. Uh, I guess it just depends on your on your finances, and it depends on what your goals are. If you want to have it now, or if you're one of those guys that just doesn't want to overpay and you want to wait, you know, if you don't want to overpay, I'd wait. It's going to be cheaper in the future, way cheaper. Um, but you know, people buy an emotion and they want to have the autograph now, and so I get that, you know. But it's it's going to be one ninety nine. It's probably one of the cheaper ones that you're going to be getting. Uh, but you got to have the MVP in your collection. I mean, everybody's got to have the MVP. So um, is <laughs> You know, that kind of leads me to my main question about the World Series stuff is, is this stuff overpriced? And, well, yes, naturally it is. You know, I mean, it's it's obviously jacked up around this time of year because people are, you know, wanting to collect, you know, stuff from their favorite team who just won the World Series. So, you know, bets in a 400 ball, I already touched on that. That's too high for me. Um, I mean, I know he had a great year and everything like that, but come on now. Um so again, who you get? You know, if I, if you had three to five hundred bucks to get to spend, which you know I would say maybe the average person might be able to to, to wheel, I would probably st uh, stick with getting Benetendi and also Pierce for right now. That's going to put you at about three hundred bucks. Maybe you can save up and get you know bets down the road, you know, or you could do bets and Pierce if, if that's what you want to do. But I would definitely have the MVP in there. I know you're going to overpay for it, but you got to have them. Like I said, I already talked about that. So. Uh, but yeah, this stuff's, you know, World Series stuff is just, it's just always overpriced, you know? I mean, you can always wait. You're going to get better deals down the road. Somebody's going to sign something IP and you get you, you know, you get it, you know, JSA authenticated and pay way less, pay 50% less. So, but people, like I said, people are riding high on the emotions and this is an emo emotional business. This is an emotional industry, you know? People, you know, somebody breaks a record. We saw Drew Brees do this, you know. People start buying the stuff again. So, you know, that's what's the, that's what the driver of this whole market really is, emotions for the most part. And really in, in most markets, you know. So, but, you know, get to my, my back to my point is, you know, gosh, man. I, I would have liked to seen the MVP be like at 99 bucks, you know. Just to throw some collectors a bone every once in a while, you know. Like, listen, we realize this guy is nobody on your radar before the World Series. We're going to hook you up, collectors. We're going to give you a good deal on this one, 99 bucks. And Listen, I get there's a lot of competition to bring these guys in, and they've got to recoup their investment, and they got to make money. I get it. But uh, sometimes you just kind of like to see something nice be done, you know, like a good price on an autograph where you're like, wow, that's that's, that's cheaper than I thought it would be, you know. Don't you, don't you always love that feeling? So, But, yes, it's way overpriced, and I would uh, probably wait. But I know some of you won't, and that's okay, too. You know, it's it's your budget and you're collecting, so you guys do what you want. But uh, man, I, hmm, we sure would like to see some of the stuff kind of drop in value a little bit uh, for all the collectors out there. So, let's get to a second topic here, real quick. Big, big autograph signing. Oh man, man, I say big autograph signing. It's a cool signing. The guy who's doing it is not a huge guy, but when I tell you what he's going to be signing, it's going to pique your interest. So. We're all familiar with the famous fight with Nolan Ryan and Robin Ventura. Okay, we've seen the Nolan Ryan uh, signature on that photo, but rarely do you see the other guy on there, Mr. Robin Ventura, doing an autograph signing here coming up uh, November 23rd. And yes, 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 he will be signing the fight photo. Okay, he's done this before, probably about uh, Eight years ago, I think, was the last time I had his pieces in with the dual sign stuff with Ryan. But this is a piece that every baseball collector absolutely has to have. I mean, 100%, especially if you can get Ventura on it. It's just, it's the most iconic, I don't say the most iconic baseball photo. I mean, obviously the catch from Maze is really cool. But I think it's one of the rare ones that you can get where it's a fight. 
and dual signed by both of the people, you know. So and, and at a really, really good price. At least I think it's a good price. You know, I'm going to be selling, um, you know, I'm kind of doing a pre-sale on it right now, but for framed 8x10 signed by both of them at 229 shipped, 16x20s at 349 and then a uh, dual sign baseball at 229 and then uh, that'll include Ventura writing the uh, date of the fight on there. So uh, that's pretty good pricing, man. That's a, that, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is bang for your buck at a really quality item that everybody knows about, but everybody wants, but they're, they want something cool and unique in their collection. I mean, this is the, this is the piece right here. So, uh, if you want to send something in for Ventura too, you know, if you want something, something else, I can take your uh, mail ins and those uh, up to, uh, 11, 16. That's when I need your item to buy them. But, uh, definitely get on this. Pre-sales have been strong on this and Ventura will sell out. There's not going to be that many of those fight photos uh, available. And, and man, I just love this. I mean, I can tell when I get excited about a signing, I know how collectors are going to feel about the signing. And these are the ones I like to take part in. These are the ones that I, I love to do for you guys just because, uh, you know, I get excited about it. I know you guys are going to be stoked about it. So, and, and I don't do a whole bunch of autograph signings. I don't participate in all of them. But I do participate in the ones that get me excited, you know, and get me get me going to, like, start collecting stuff again. And these are the ones I like to bring to you guys. So uh, if you're interested in uh, Ventura, Ryan... Uh, the dual sign stuff, you know, shoot me a message there. You can see all the pricing, uh, again, up there on the website. Just click on upcoming signings. Um, but those are today's topics, then. Uh, real quick and easy. Appreciate you guys joining me here on episode 12. And please hit that subscribe button wherever you are. And I uh, always appreciate you guys. And I sure hope you guys are enjoying this, okay? Thanks again, guys. I'll see you again next week for episode 13.